Rick, Denise, well, you can actually see a lot of that leftover salt here, that salt trucks. They've been working all day to kind of keep these roads clean, and it has worked. The salt has melted a lot of that snow and a lot of that slush that we saw builds up throughout the day. Now, of course, the roads are now still wet out here. That snow has now turned into rain. Now, this is what officials say you need to watch out for, because as these roads remain wet, it could make for a very dangerous morning commute. I just got off work, so I'm trying to get home. So I live about an hour away. Done with work just in time. That was a mess. Residents in Baltimore County rushed home as the snow turned to a sloppy slush. I started sliding like twice going back home. Wednesday's blast of winter weather blanketed parts of Maryland, coating roadways and snarling traffic. Highways became a problem fast. It looks beautiful, but for us, it could be a, bit, a little bit difficult. From the county to the city. It's all hands on deck. The city and the county have more than 100,000 tons of salt on standby and nearly 900 employees out on the road. If you do not have to be on the road, don't be on the road so that we can allow our crews to focus and do the work that they need to do. We expect that within 24 hours of the last snowfall, we will have all of our roads clear. But as the temperature continues to drop, the attention turns to potentially dangerous icy conditions and even more snow overnight. I'm just trying to stay safe so I don't slip and slide. Now, if you live in the city and your road hasn't been cleared yet, city crews say that they will be out working throughout the night. Right now, they are focusing on high volume roads. Then they're going to transfer over to secondary roads, and then they will get to those residential roads here in the city. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.